From the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2010 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the questions, Walimu John Sibi of Kumu. Hello and welcome to Africa's international inter-university question and answer championship, the Zane Africa Challenge 2010. A record 100 universities from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda and Zambia competed in national qualifying tournaments. Now the last 16 teams are taking part in this 15 game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty handed. Let's meet today's players in this first round game. Entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from Copper Belt University, Zambia. Meshat Zulu, fifth year, Rechiko Mekanko, Ndola, Zambia. Katai Kafanfa, third year, civil engineering, Ndola, Zambia. Siza Matia, fourth year, accountancy, Lusaka, Zambia. And now entering is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Sierra Leone. Songo Kwedeyama. Third year medicine, Kono Sierra Leone. Jimmy Smith, fourth year history, Kailan Sierra Leone. Abubakar Sawane, third year information systems, Kailan Hun Sierra Leone. A very warm welcome to both our teams. You and your universities will earn a share of over one million US dollars in individual, institutional, and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. <laughs> and every week, you at home can play and win valuable prizes in the SMS Zane game. A quick review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round for each team, which is the ultimate challenge. Songo, you're first up for face-off questions for the University of Sierra Leone. Tell me, why did you decide to become a doctor? It happened when I went to Kono one day. Um, that was the day I decided to be a force for good, because the medical conditions there were very, very deplorable. And from then on, I'm going to be a medical doctor. I'm going to go there and do something very good for that place. May the force be with you. Okay. Katai, why did you decide to be a civil engineer? Well, John, when I was in my 11th grade, there was this guy in my neighborhood, quite young. He had it all. He had a big house. He had a big car, beautiful wife, nice kids. And I was like, when I later found out what he was doing, I was like, what the heck? Let me just leave his dream as well. May your dreams come true. <laughs> Let's take the Zane Africa Challenge, round one. Have a look at the first four categories, and they are country names, euros, into the coal mines, the flu. What's it to be, Katai? Into the coal mines. It is. Table, chair, bed. Which word for a piece of furniture also names an underground deposit of coal? Sierra Leone. Bit. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Bit, pillar, fault, shaft. Which is one, the tip of a mining drill? Beat. Beat. That is correct. Two, the main passage of a coal mine? Shaft. That is correct for 20 points, giving you a total of 30 straight off. Songo, choice of category, please. The flu. The flu it is. Bacteria, parasite, virus. Which causes the flu? Copper Belt University. Virus. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Capsid, DNA, Golgi, RNA. Which two of these are parts of a flu virus? RNA and DNA. RNA and capsid, 10 points, giving you a total of 20. Katai, choice of category, please. Uh, into the coal mines. Into the coal mines it is. Denmark, Finland, Romania. Which nation on the Black Sea has the largest proven coal reserves? Sierra Leone. Romania. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. The only West African countries among the world's top 40 coal consumers are which two English-speaking Gulf of Guinea nations? Ghana, Nigeria. That is correct for 20 points, giving you a total of 60 against Copper Belts. 20. Songo, choice of category, please. The flu. 
The flu it is. A 2009 flu pandemic began in the village of La Gloria in which Latin American country? Copy belt. Mexico. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Penicillin, quinine, relenza, Tamiflu. Which two are used to treat influenza? Uh, Tamiflu and penicillin. And relenza. You get 10 points, giving you a total of 40 against Sierra Leone 60. Katai, choice of category, please. Euros. Euros it is. Author Miguel de Cervantes appears on which nation's 50 cent, 20 cent and 10 cent coins? <coughs> University of Sierra Leone. Spain. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Castles, bridges, arches, statues. Which two are represented in various styles on Euro notes? Castles and statues. No, bridges and arches. Songo, choice of category, please. The flu. The flu it is. 18th, 19th, 20th. In which century was the influenza virus first discovered? <coughs> Copper belt. Uh, 20th century. That is correct. And that flash of lightning gives you today's Zane super bonus question on movies. For 10 points apiece, of these Jamie Foxx characters, which is from the film One Dream Girls? C. Yes. Ray. D. Yes. Three. The soloist. A. A, giving you 30 points to the total of 80 against Sierra Leone's 70. Katai, choice of category, please. Country names. Country names it is. Which European nation gets its name Osterreich from the German for Eastern Kingdom? Sierra Leone. Austria. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which country ending in L-A-N-D, one, east of Germany, is Poland. named after the people of the fields? Poland. Poland is correct. Two, in the Atlantic, was so named because of a frozen bay. Iceland. That is correct, giving you 20 points. End of round one. There's only 20 points in it at the end of round one. Copper Belt University Zambia has 80 points against the University of Sierra Leone's 100. With each team's first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge 2010, we'll showcase their university. So here's a profile of Copper Belt University Zambia. Located in Kitwe, Zambia, Copperbelt University was established in 1987. The university's mandate is to nurture and support teaching and learning, research, outreach and professional services. CBU offers undergraduate, postgraduate, certificate as well as distance education and open learning programs throughout Zambia. Through its quality academic programs, the institution offers a broad range of curriculums. This enables graduates to act efficiently and effectively in their chosen careers. Demand and dependence have been placed on communication technology services and the university's library as the principal information providers for students and staff. Students develop social skills and advance academically through the sharing of knowledge. Copperbelt University, a place for high quality education and training.